Hey, 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 Alias here, and this is my radiation and uh, post-apocalyptic uh, script. Initial plan was to release them separately, but I've decided to merge these scripts because they are related in my view. However, you don't have to use them uh, simultaneously if you don't want to. You can choose to use one or another depending on your needs. Although, let me know in the comments if you think I should break apart the radiation script from post-apocalyptic script and I will do so if uh, needed. On short, the radiation part of the script deals with uh, generating uh, irradiated areas or radiation emitters. The post-apocalyptic part deals with uh, generating uh, the screen effect, ambiental sounds, some weather effects made out of uh, particles and fallout uh, ashes. First, I will tell you how to place radiation emitters. We go in the mission folder and we open uh, alias radiation ini file. So if we want to place a radiation emitter, we're going to use this line. First parameter is the object we want to use as uh, emitter, which can be anything you want, a car, building, etc. Second parameter is the radius, which uh, sets the area affected by uh, radiation. Third parameter is the amount of damage player will take over time if he uh, is uh, inside the radiation area without protective gear. The damage increases with the time players spend in the area, so you better take this uh, in account when you set this value. Also, the damage inflicted by radiation can be different from object to object. Last parameter is the class name of the equipment you want to use as anti-radiation gear. It can be a helmet, vest, uniform or goggles. In my example I used a pilot helmet. To demonstrate I'll uh, use this example. I simply copy this line and place it in the init field of an object. If you prefer you could uh, use the name of the object here and place this line inside another script. For radius I have uh, 30 meters, for uh, damage uh, I have uh, 0 0.02 and here I have the class name of the protective uh, helmet. A good thing uh, about using objects as uh, emitters is that I can set the altitude like this. So the danger zone will be the second floor of a building, for instance. Here on the first floor is a radiation free zone. And if I go upstairs, I start to get uh, damaged by uh, radiation. We can set up as many radioactive objects as we want. The impact on server performance should be minimal, but is something you should uh, test first. To set up uh, radiation uh, areas, I'm going to use uh, this line. Basically, we're going to use empty markers uh, placed in editor to specify the areas we want to uh, affect. In uh, this aspect, this part of the script works pretty much like my minefield uh, script I released a week ago or so. If the number of uh, empty markers we place in editor is bigger than the number of uh, radioactive uh, areas, the script will uh, pick up randomly the markers where radioactive areas will be created. If the number of markers is equal with the number of areas, then each marker will designate a radioactive area. So, first parameter is the number of radioactive areas. The second parameter is the radius of each area. The third parameter is the damage inflicted by radiation in those areas. The fourth parameter is the class name of the protective gear. And last parameter is an array with empty markers which must be excluded by script in case you want to use some empty markers for something other than uh, designating uh, radioactive uh, areas. So the script uh, scans uh, for empty markers uh, the entire map 
and will uh, ignore the markers you have in the ignore markers array. In my example, I want uh, three radioactive areas with the 50 meters radius each. The damage is set to 0 0.01, class name of the protective equipment, and the array of markers I want the script to ignore. So in uh, editor I placed here some empty markers among which I have the ABC markers. These markers will be ignored by script and we're not going to see radiation in these uh, locations. And because I have uh, more markers than radiation zones, the script will pick up randomly three markers where radiation will be present. Let's test it. We see that the radiation zones are marked with a uh, red dot and if I jump uh, in those locations uh, I will uh, notice uh, the presence of uh, radiation. The red dots will show up on the map because I have this variable called debug radiation set true. If I make it false, the red dots will not be placed on the map. You can find this line in area radiation SKF file. Now to create the post-apocalyptic atmosphere, we use this line. On a personal uh, note, the script works nice with fog and certain weather settings, but to avoid conflicts and overlapping with other modes or scripts for dynamic weather, I decided not to use them in the script, so if you want certain values for fog and weather, either you do the setting in editor or you let your mod or script for weather system you might use uh, do it for you. As uh, parameters we have uh, screen effect, which if is uh, true it will be enabled and the color filter will be applied on your screen. If you prefer using your own values or you want to try out uh, several other presets I uh, made, have a look at the PP effect alias SQF file located in the R post folder. Next is uh, Fallout Ash, uh, which if is uh, true, you will see ashes falling from the sky. Then we have uh, the Dust Burst uh, parameter, which basically generates uh, some trails of dust from time to time. And last parameter, if is enabled, you will uh, hear from time to time some weird ambiental sounds. If you want to disable it, just uh, make it false. But if you ask me, sounds are very important when uh, you trying to create an atmosphere. You can run the scripts from initSQF or another script. For the scripts to work, uh, you need uh, all the folders and files under your uh, mission folder, excepting mission uh, SQM. Also, if you already have a description file, you need to merge it with the description file provided uh, with the script. I hope uh, it's not going to be very difficult for you to use uh, the script. If you have uh, suggestions or you find settings values uh, to make the script look or work better, please let me know in the comments below. Until next time, as usual, have fun and happy editing!